More and more stuff keeps on popping up on the horizon and we keep getting teasers and snippets of things. But I'm in the main menu right now because I need to make a point about something and I don't know if this something is actually nothing or if something is actually something. First off, welcome back to the aisle. And secondly, well, if you look down right here, you see these four little lights? I've noticed, at least when I play this game late at night, these start to flash. They won't flash right now for me, but in about three-ish hours, if I load this game and I start playing, these are actually flashing and there's, there's just some weird stuff happening on the menu. I don't know if that has any significant meaning or if it's just a UI iteration where like you can have it flashing or not flashing. But either way, I just wanted to let you guys know if you want to look into it, well, you can. Maybe it's some kind of Morse code or something bringing attention to that. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead, log into Isla Nicta on my Rex if it's still alive. Ooh, people on the V3 server. I'm going to see how Rexy's doing and we're going to jump into a lot of stuff because there's a lot of stuff happening that I need to talk to you about. Ah, uh, oh, I see it right down there. I see its tail. I hear another Tyrannosaurus Rex. I think I see two of them actually. Oh, there's two of them just down there. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. And I'm so sorry that it's nighttime on the server. But hang on. I, I need to... Mm. Wait. Wait, maybe there's only one of them. Is there only one? No, there's two. There's a male and a female. I don't know if... I don't want to tussle with two Rexes. E. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We've got some problems going on. I don't know how to handle this. Okay, all right. You want to do it this way? We'll do it this way, Captain Dildo. Ooh, ooh. Okay, time to, time to skedaddle on. <laughs> oh my God, he's right there. He's ambushing on me. Oh, just run, just run, run straight. They don't have the ambush to keep up with. I see it's Hennessy right there. Oh my God. Huh? Huh, huh. Let's just hope. Let's just hope and pray the server doesn't lag and they don't they don't catch our toenails. Huh? Just run. Just run. Okay. This isn't what I wanted to log into. This is what I wanted to log into. Get off my ass! I can't, I can't take any evasive turns because they might cut me off. Just keep going. Maybe they don't have full stam. Maybe we'll get lucky and they don't have full stam. Oh my god. I hear them right behind me. The head's basically in my camera. Do I have the stem to get away from this? Oh my god, look at his head! It's right there! No! Go away! Oh, we're heading into a bad spot. Oh, this is a bad spot! This is a bad spot! Ooh, ooh, get caught up in the trees. Come on, you guys just gotta get caught up in the trees! <laughs> I haven't, I haven't dealt with Rexes in so long. There's two of them. Like, if they catch me, I'm dead. They're still sprinting behind me, too. That's such a problem. Like, if they actually have the same full stam as me, I'm boned. I know one was ambushing behind me. I'm almost out of stam. One was ambushing behind me, so their stam should have actually drained a lot faster. Okay, I'm going to have to turn. I'm going to have to turn. Uh. Oh, there is no fast turning with this guy. Oh, no, I hit a tree. Come on, just get on his tail. Oh, I think I got one of them. Did I break his leg? No, I didn't. I can't turn fast. Oh, it's such a problem. Oh, yeah, I hit him once. All right, I want to have to watch my bleed. I didn't want to, like, log into two Rexes. That's an awkward situation to come into. A broken leg really isn't something to mess with. Keep you down right there. I'll keep you right there. Trying to get me to go around. Oh, better watch it. 
Damn, I didn't even get his tail. What? I was like on his tail. Like it's sticking around the trees, maybe they'll get caught. Ooh. Break your leg too. Ooh. Better watch it. Better watch get out of here with your group invite. Come on, your group invite. So, note to self, don't try and take on two Rexes at once because it's a bad time. Ah. Uh, Two Rexes usually destroy one Rex, and it's a bad time. Um, I would have gotten away, I think, if their stam was down a little bit. I could have out-trotted them then at that point. But, like, you can't really maneuver too much when you're going down a hill. Like, let me turn my night vision. So, you, you, like, you see this right here going downhill. You can't really maneuver much. I think there is a speed bonus now to when you're running downhills, or maybe that's just for the trike. But regardless, too, if you take too sharp of a turn, they can actually cut, they can actually cut you off as a Rex because your turning is just so bad. Anyways, what I want to do is I want to run into some of the new stuff that I have to show you, and then we're going to go back in game. So starting out in this, I let you hear the Magna Tyrannus and its quote-unquote sounds which are not complete to my knowledge. We also get a nice look at the creature, its model, and its idle animations. Now there are some more sounds you're going to want to hear, so I'll be quiet right here and we'll let those play right about now. That was the broadcast, from what I understand. Now, this is the Hyporex, hardly anything related to the Magna. However, this is just showing its movements. I do believe they were actually working on the IK system with this, where they wanted it to angle going down hills, and it's, it's more or less, you know, right now we run down hills flat, like it, it looks kind of awkward and, and weird. You know, when my Rex was running down the hill, it actually looked really weird too, uh, earlier in the video. but. This stuff right here, when it's running up hills, when it's running down hills, its body actually angles and its legs will stretch out more or less depending on where it makes contact with the ground. It's a much more realistic and yet complicated system for movement. Now I'm not sure how far into this they've actually made it. I think they're basically done with this system. There are still some serious bugs they need to work on. But overall, it seems like they've been working on it steady, and it seems like it may be nearing completion, so we're hoping to see this in a near update, but only time will tell, and, well, the devs have nothing but time on their hands right now, so I'm assuming they're going to have this and a lot of other things completed. The will, I will say right now, the Magna's looking amazing. I'm loving how this creature is looking, and I can't wait to see the future and the progression of this creature. I just feel like the sounds kind of need a little work, and that's just me, and I'm pretty sure Don actually said in one of his streams, the Magnus sounds right now need to sound bigger, the, the creature itself needs to sound bigger, which is completely understandable. This is another IK test of it walking up a hill, trying to see how its foot placement is, how its motion is, and its tracking, all that fun stuff, and technical stuff that I'm never going to understand. And, some of you may actually understand if you're a mod or a developer, I guess. a modder or a developer. Let's let's get that right. I want to know what you guys think down below in the comment section about the Magna. I definitely want to know if you guys want to try playing as this thing sometime, and if you think it will be a playable creature you will achieve. Though I don't see this ever happening for anyone that I may know. It might just be some random person. Anyways, let's check out some more sound. I'm assuming that's the four call. And this right here, well. Don't be alarmed, that's from Primal Carnage. It's not the aisle.
All right, enough about the Magna Rex and all of that fun stuff. You guys are you're hearing some weird alien type beeping right now, and you're also seeing a mercenary running through the woods, or well, heavy bush with a gun out, and he's approached a cannibal. Well, not a cannibal. This isn't a cannibal. We've been told this was a cannibal, but we've been lied to. It's not a cannibal, unfortunately. This is a different type of strain or some kind of different creature entirely. I'm not sure why Don decided to play that sound along with finding it, unless there's some kind of tracking system he's thinking about working on. I don't have any background information on this either. We're going to have to wait and see what happens with this, and I guess hope for the best. I can only assume it's going to be like a tracking system where the closer you are to a cannibal, the, the more audible and quick the beeping gets. As you can hear as well, right here. Now, obviously, it's not getting close. It's not getting louder and faster as he gets closer to the cannibal or anything like that. But the I, I guess the general idea is there for what he wants to do. So we're back on the magnet now. And well, that's the broadcast, more or less. All right. So ignoring that, we got to check the head. The head's the most important part of this. Okay. Alright, so that was fun and all. That was Don checking out the IK system, I guess, and how movement is. This is the Hyporex walking through trees. Now, eventually, we're assuming and we're hoping to see these large creatures actually topple trees. And, well, that was hinted in Don's Q&A. There was actually a huge Q&A a while ago. I highly suggest you check out my last video. That's It's directly from the horse's mouth from Don's mouth. Don actually went into detail about different things and features coming to the game. This is stuff you're going to want to know about. Anything from creatures to everything else that you may have questioned in the past is actually answered on this screen. Now that's it for all the fancy stuff I have to show you right now and things that were teased and the cool, I guess, hypo type creatures. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments section about everything you have seen so far in this video. I want to know what you have to say and what you think. I'm sure the devs will also see your comments and well, I guess they'll make changes accordingly if they agree. Alright, I will see you in game. And here we are back in game with our friendly little Carno, and I just happened to come across some other Carnos. How you guys doing? Why, hello there, good sir. <laughs> Why? Hello uh, there, good sir. Are uh, you gonna be friendly, or are you gonna kill me to be on YouTube as the... Okay. He's getting closer. Nice horns. I, I like your horns. So, guys... I want to know what you guys think about everything you've seen so far in the comment section. Please don't hurt me. Are you allowed to have two babies? You know, I if you let me grow a little bit, I'll, I'll totally gladiator it out with this person and, and, you know, take the spot. Survival of the fittest is usually what I do. I'm going to take a sniff snap real quick. I don't need food. I feel big for a baby. I think the weirdest thing we took home from the Q&A yesterday was that there will be plants that can hurt you and take pieces of you that you didn't know existed. It's weird. It's a weird concept. And I don't know how many of you saw the video yesterday, but it was said that there are plants that can take pieces of you that you didn't know you had. What is something we wouldn't know we had as a dinosaur? Oh, look at the water pouring down over us. Wait, that looked kind of buggy, actually. Look at that. That is so cool, but it looks kind of weird. It looks like worms under our skin. I don't know how well YouTube's going to pick this up. I'm probably going to butcher the quality actions. Okay, whatever. Anyways, yeah. What's something we can have? Like, would it be trackers? Would it be something else? Would we have, like, tags? Is Why is this Carno dead? I just realized this is another Carno. Why are you dead? Hey, hey little guy. You okay? You, you need some water? Oh. Well, they they didn't do it. They found it dead, but I I don't trust that. They they might have they might have killed it. Wait, a giga? What do you mean a giga? There's no gigas around here, is there? Why would a giga leave a full body like that? I feel like some, something happening here. We're about to get ambushed. There's a giga around here. That's not good. 
Uh oh. I just heard a bark. Uh, I just heard a bark. A bark on the bad thing. Hello? I probably shouldn't be making noise. This is probably a bad idea. Oh, we're going in the swamp, I guess. Is the swamp down this way, little guys? Yeah? Cool. So I keep on going off track, I know. But, um, yeah. You guys, you guys, we're just going to run over here. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section again. This whole removing things from bodies and things we didn't know we had. Maybe we have hepatitis and, like, we just don't know. Or, like, we, we have some kind of tumor and they're going to take it out of us. That would be awful nice of a plant to do. Just, hey, you had a tumor in your lower abdomen. I just kind of... Went ahead and took that out for you as you're bleeding out on the ground because it didn't use any surgical procedure. It kind of just like jetted in there and ripped out part of your body. That's uh, that's a weird way to put it. I'll leave a link to the video in the comment section, whatever the video, so you guys can check it out and uh, see what Don had to say about his game, what they want to do with it. I'm going to play as the Colonel for a little bit. I want to see where I get as this little tyke. And we'll hope that we don't... We don't die. Why did it just suddenly... I didn't do my command. Hear me roar. I think I heard another carno down there. I'm not sure if... Was it something down there? What are they saying? Nothing. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Is... I, could s I swear I heard another carno down there, but maybe it was just the, the thunder. And then all the way down there is going to be swamp. But I mean, for now, we don't need to worry about any kind of water or liquidation for our system. Okay, I, I guess we're, we're going to keep going. Oh, wait. It's just over there to the right. <laughs> Both of us just broadcast. Ooh. Oh, it's getting so bad. I feel like... We should have to take cover under trees or something when there's bad storms like that because it would scare us and, and I don't know, make us nervous. I feel like the affinity system should totally take into consideration weather and, I guess, mild climate changes, if that makes sense. Like, if you get cold or if you're too warm, yada yada, I think that'd be kind of cool. I mean, who wants to hunt on a warm day, right? Not me. I hear... I hear thingies up here. I want to... I want to investigate. I, I just, I want to see. What are they? I hear a, I think it's an aloe. There's an allosaurus up here. You're going to have to kill it. Father, mother, mother, father, mother, father, mother. I don't know. I, I, oh, there it is right there. Wait, what did, did it, is it crouching? Is it dead? Hang on a second. Did it die or is it just crouching under there? It died. What the hell? What the hell happened to you? Oh, he drowned himself. Ah, oh, you little rascal. You can be doing that. Well, I guess if you want to respawn, you want to respawn. You got to do what you can do. I don't really see much of anything else around here. Let's, uh, let's keep looking around. Hopefully we don't find a Rex. Oh, we don't have to look far, I guess. No? Oh, never mind. False alarm. There's a, there's a, there's a thingy. The thingy over right there. Can, can you, can you get the thingy? That looks so cool. Come on, swim, swim. We can do it. There we go. There you go, little guy. You got your sea legs. Right, what's up over here? Hello. Can I entrust you in some car and car? Yeah, that's an old one. I'm not doing that. Oh my god. Alright, I guess we're just gonna like fan out and find people. Alright, you stay in the middle. I'll stay over here. I'll, I'll tell you if I find something. Don't you worry. I'll beat it up first. I'll, I'll just soften it up. And and then from there, I'll, I'll you know, let you, let you do the job on it. Oh! There's a parasaur! Yo, get it! Get it! You can do it! Grit and call it! Blah. I'll hurt you with my tiny teeth. Oh, dude. It is so boned. Or is it boned? I don't know. It might It might actually be able to fight him off. Look at that. Oh, it tried to kick him. 
I think a kick from a Parasaur really hurts a Carno too. Why are you three calling now? You, you're not supposed to do that when you're fighting, dude. You can't do anything else when you when you do that. Ooh, ooh. Wait, what do I see over there? Is that blood or is that carcass? Oh, 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 he just hit his tail. I don't think that thing's fully grown either. Okay, how about we don't and say we did? You don't need to. Well, Parasaurs have really good bleed heal too, but I feel like if you keep on poking it and prodding it, eventually it's going to die. He's trying to kick too. You better watch it, dude. I think decides it wants to kill you, it's going to... Well, I guess it does. Wait, did it die? Like I was saying, you know, I, I think... When it decides it wants to die, it, it, it dies. And that's it. And let's have a let's have a bite. Oh wow, look how slowly it's going down. That's great. It's like the bodies are weighted now. They don't like fly around. That's so good. I need to take breaks from the aisle more often and then play out of the blue and see this stuff. I like it. Damn. And there it goes. Bye. Hope you hope you had a good trip. See you see you later, I guess. And as for me, guys, that is it for now. On the aisle, I hope you enjoyed this video and all of its contents. Let me know your thoughts down below on everything you've seen, obviously. Again, for like the 20th time, because I like seeing what you guys have to say about the game. And your ideas are actually really good. I saw a lot of good ideas in my last video in the comments section, and I took note of them. I'm compiling a list right now to see if Don is interested in any of them. All right, guys, leave a like if you did enjoy this video. I will see you in the next one.